to show you how to add a product to your stand store. So here you want to navigate to the left hand side of your stand store options and click on my store. You want to scroll down till you get to the bottom of your screen and select add product. Here you then want to select sell or digital download or whatever it is that you want to add to your store. After we select um, digital product, you can actually choose an image here. You can upload an image of maybe the front cover of your product or something related to it. Or you can actually search in here to see the various options that they have as well that you can use. So the option is totally up to you. For this, we're just going to select something. Um, you're going to notice um, after you crop your heading on this right hand side, you're going to start to see the actual um, preview of what it looks like from that front level so we usually name it something pertaining to the product right so affirmation cards okay and then you can leave this as we would deliver this file right to your inbox or whatever you choose and then download now or whatever you choose as well then you're going to go to the checkout. So here you have the option to do another type of photo. Um, you can do that same photo. It's totally up to you, but it's that same setup. So you can just pick one from here or you can upload your own image from your actual device. Then usually for your heading, you would just say get my cards now or whatever that you want to put here as you can see over here it shows you what it would look like um here you can do the product descriptions and just come up with like some type of detailed um feeling to give your audience letting them know what your product is about here this is where you would do your pricing then this is your section here. So your bottom title, you can change, change this to whatever you want to change it to. And then purchase is your call to action button that's right here. And so here, some of these options are the $99, so the pro. So I think something like um, the payment plan is one. So if you have pro, you'll have the option to do a payment plan and things like that so these are the field that the customer will enter so name and email is usually all that you need some people need phone numbers for certain reasons um but this is where you can add field um to what already is provided which is here so the name and the email then here you can actually upload the actual document that you want to sell them so if it was affirmation cards you can upload that pdf print or if you wanted to go into canva as a template you will upload your thank you page that has your template link here in the upload if you needed to go to a link right so if you're selling some type of course or you need it to go to another external link, you can select redirect to URL and you can put the link here in your download or whatever you want the name of the link to be. Once you do that, you can publish. So when you publish, of course I cannot because I didn't finish everything, but after you publish, it's going to go to the bottom of your screen. And um, let me just show you an example. I'm just going to grab something. And let's see if it's going to let me do it after um, I do this. So um, once you publish, though, you're going to notice that your product goes to the bottom of your screen. Or if it's your first product, it's just going to be right there for you. But the more products you add on, you will be able to, like, move product description. Okay. Thank you for being happy. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if that's going to let it go through. Cool. There we go. They just need to see they just did something and changed it. So um, what you're going to see now is where did it go? Sorry, I overlooked it. It's right here. Affirmation cards. So you can, like I said, move it up and down however you want it to be placed in your list. If you're done with it and you don't want to um, utilize this item anymore or if it was seasonal and you want to turn it off for right now, you would just click these three dots 
and do unpublish. So once you unpublish it, it takes it off your storefront and saves it as a draft. So it's a good way to turn something off from your store without having to totally delete it. Just in case you ever wanted to turn it back on, you would just be able to like select that item that's in draft and then republish it again to bring it back to your storefront. So that's how you add a item on stand.